As you guys know, sometimes I like to share my childhood gaming memories with you, whether it be how I lost my entire Nintendo 64 collection or how my best friend actually used me just so you could play all my video games. Well, today I got a crazy one for you and it's how I got struck by lightning playing Super Nintendo. Hey guys, Vivian 20 back again. I know it sounds absolutely insane that I just said I got struck by lightning while playing Super Nintendo, but just hear me out. This happened when I was like 10 or 12 years old. It was in Geneva, Ohio at my cousin Josh's house. We were upstairs in his bedroom playing Super Nintendo like we normally do. And I remember it like it was yesterday. We were playing SimCity. And if you guys remember, SimCity was a like the original SimCity where you have to build a town or a city and you have to scale it up. You have to kind of mess with the taxes and let the game run to actually build money. And we would actually let the game run overnight. It was hilarious. Like we would actually go to bed and leave the game running just so we can kind of collect the taxes and speed up the time. It was pretty hilarious. And we had a lot of time, a lot of hours invested into this city. And then all of a sudden a thunderstorm rolled in and we were looking outside the window and like the brightest flash happened and then lightning struck. If you guys know like when lightning strikes, sometimes you'll see like the lightning bolt and then like maybe five or 10 seconds later, you'll hear the rumble. Well, this was like a bright flash, like a blinding flash and then like thunder right away. There was like no seconds in between. And we felt, I'm, I'm not making this up, I swear to God this happened. There was like a jolt of like electricity or shock that went through my arm. It was pretty strong and I looked at my cousin because I was like, was it just me? Because I was sitting right by the window. I looked at my cousin, I'm like, did you did you feel that? And he was like, yeah, dude, I, I feel it. And I'm like, did we just get struck by lightning? What the heck was this? Obviously, we didn't get struck by lightning directly, but it was like the aftershock. We were kind of freaking out like, holy crap, like something crazy just happened. Like we kind of got struck by lightning, but we didn't. I can't kind of, it's kind of hard to explain. Leave a comment below, let me know. Have you ever experienced like an aftershock of a lightning strike? I didn't even know that was a thing, but apparently it is. I never really shared this with anyone till now because I was just thinking about this the other day and I was like, you know what? I want to make a video about this and share with you guys because as you guys all know, I like to share some gaming memories with you from my childhood and this one seems pretty crazy. And what's even more crazier the TV went off because of the lightning strike. We looked over, we couldn't turn the Super Nintendo back on. The Super Nintendo completely fried. I mean, it was like devastation because we had so many hours invested into making our city and now the Super Nintendo was completely fried. I'm pretty sure my cousin had to buy like a new one. I'm not even sure if the game continued to work after that. I think it might have, but I know the Super Nintendo was completely done. I'm not sure about the TV. The TV might have been done as well but it was crazy. The next morning we went outside because we're like, where did this lightning strike? And it actually struck the tree pretty close to his bedroom window. And you could actually see like a lightning burned into the tree. It was really, really cool. I actually went there the other day. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to this house and check out the tree because that burned in lightning strike was in the tree for many, many years and it looked really cool. I'm like, you know what? It's probably still in there because it was really deep. It almost split the tree in half and the tree is completely gone. As you guys can see, there is the bedroom window where me and my cousin, that's where we were actually playing the Super Nintendo up there. And then over here, as you can see, the tree is completely gone. It's just a, a, a stump now, so it's kind of sad because I think the lightning strike was kind of killed the tree over time. It was like really dying. I think that lightning strike really kind of killed it. And now the tree is just a, a stump there. So kind of sad that the tree's gone. I was trying to actually go inside the house to kind of go upstairs and kind of relive some of my, uh, you know, gaming past. But, uh, you know, they were not home. And that, that house actually turned into like a psychiatrist's office, believe it or not. It's really kind of strange that that house turned into like a psychiatrist's office office but leave a comment below guys let me know share some of your crazy and interesting gaming stories i think it's crazy have you ever felt an aftershock of lightning i don't know i don't know anyone else that has a similar experience like this but leave a comment below and let me know some of your crazy gaming stories it doesn't have to be something like this like lightning or anything and guys i will have a link below to my cousin josh's youtube channel ham ventures go ahead and check him out that guys he's going to be going on his rv and taking some really cool adventures i don't know where he's going to be going but go ahead and comment on his newest video and say hey i heard you got struck by lightning and your super nintendo fried he'll pro it'll probably blow his mind he'll probably get a kick out of it but uh, go ahead and do that for me i'll leave a link below and as always guys that's pretty much all for right now and as always there'll be more to come shortly thanks again